YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work It Out Change. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about YouTube and the money and just some warnings I want to give you guys. Let's start with this video right here. at 293 million views. That is more views than the official Avengers Infinity War movie trailer. So let's take a look at how much money this video made me. I posted this video roughly 300 days ago on YouTube Shorts, 1.2 million hours of watch time. If you convert 1.2 million hours into days, that is 50,000 days humans have spent watching this video. And here we go, big reveal, this video made me 1900 bucks not even enough money to pay rent on an apartment for a month ouch so if you thought that us short form viral video creators were raking in millions of dollars from views guess again because we ain't this right here the reason i bring this up today is just to show you guys that everybody who thinks that there are always going to be tons of money in the youtube and it's always going to go well I have to tell you guys, you need to make sure that if you're going to go into this social media life, don't just do it for money. You have to try to build some kind of skill because the money will be up and down. And I, the reason I bring that up here is right here. So YouTube creators say video revenue is down up to 90%. Something is definitely off. This was March 10th, 2023. And I watched the video recently on this and this is still going on. So. Multiple YouTube creators are claiming that a YouTube bug is costing them between 50 to 90% of their income, both putting their future as video creators in doubt, as well as seriously harming their economic well-being and eventually, and even their ability to financially survive as video creators. It completely dropped, says Hessel. Uh, I don't know how to say the last name. I apologize. Speaking about his YouTube ad revenue, to get into numbers, I was hitting $100 days, and it dropped to like $6 a day. So that is a 90% decrease which is crazy and if you want to read this article once again you can find this on forbes you can continue reading on listen guys and this is the person who makes youtube videos obviously i don't make any money off of youtube the biggest push you're gonna have to go for if you really want to live this youtube life you need to push for sponsorship tips and brand deals the best you can but to say that you're gonna live your life off of ad revenue and to that youtube is money is never going to go down People will spend their every waking second they can to get blown up on YouTube to get a million subscribers, right? Just to get to that number. But the problem is, is these people use this YouTube money as a source of their everyday living. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that if you know the money is always going to be coming, such as you have a contract, like I said, with a sponsorship, or you have brand deals that are constantly bringing in money. However, I would suggest if you're going to do this, if you're going to use YouTube for money for like the first five years, maybe three to five, don't quit your job. Don't stop building skills. Just keep moving and keep um, building skills and keep working at your normal job. And if YouTube ever gets you to that point where you can start living off some of your savings or maybe not live off your savings, don't do that. I'm saying if you can start building enough money to where you can maybe put all in for a year on YouTube and see where it goes without it financially debilitating you, then go for it. But I think at some point you should just see YouTube as a side hustle for as long as you possibly can until you are making so much money that you can live within your means. Meaning every dime, let's say if YouTube, you didn't make any money from YouTube for six months or you made half of what you made on YouTube for six months, you can still live off that. You're not living off every single dime of YouTube because that's how most of us live as Americans. We all live paycheck to paycheck. I've done it. It is difficult to always live paycheck to paycheck because one day missed, one week off of work can devastate you. Been there, been there. I want to say this. If you're going to build this YouTube life, I suggest building a skill that somebody can hire you for. So if YouTube money goes down to dang near zero and people don't want to pay ads or people are like, forget the brand deals, we'll use TV again and we'll go back to cable and national TV. You can find a way to get hired on by somebody who feels like your personality and your skill set can still be used. For me, for example, yes, I do this YouTube thing and I do put money back into this thing. However, I am still doing what I go, went to school for still going to work into my cybersecurity, still doing my math tutoring, still doing that stuff because I need that money to always keep coming in. 
I want to dedicate my life to not dedicate some of my time to YouTube and dedicate part of my life to YouTube. But at the same time, I realize I can't be a fool about this. I, I can't just be like, oh, I'm not going to work and just hope the money comes. This is a hard industry to keep making money. That's why I always tell people the social media route is not as special as you think it is. You can simply go into the workforce, build a skill over the next 10 to 15 years and make it to where you're valuable to society. People on YouTube are valuable to society, but not as many as you think. The vast majority of us will never make a living off YouTube. And even for those who did, as we just read, don't make a living at all. They started making a living and now they're back to where they're about to be financially in shambles. Right. People who move to New York, move to Cali and have these big, big apartments and have all this money they have to spend. A few bad months on YouTube could ruin them. Don't be that person. Go out there. Stop listening to people saying that nine to fives are a scam. Go out there, build a skill, and then you can branch off. Maybe start small businesses or contract yourself off because you have skills. And then you can start doing consultations or whatever you decide to go do. Build the skill first. Don't try to chase this social media fame. It just might not work out for you then. And I don't want to see you end up in a bad place. 293 million views. Got somebody $1,900 in shorts. Just imagine how many views you would have to do to make a living in New York, Cali, um, Atlanta. Okay? Think about these things. That's all I got. Goodbye.